What's up? Hey, what's up? Three women who went missing between 2002 and 2004 have been found alive. All three women were being held captive at a man's house for the last 10 years. That man's name was Ariel Castro. One of the neighbors heard Amanda Berry, who was one of the kidnapped women, screaming from the house. And that neighbor went over and kicked in the door and rescued her. And that hero is Charles Ramsey, this guy. Charles Ramsey is a fucking hero. And all he had to do was be curious and step in. And thanks to him, three women are now safe after 10 years of captivity. Those three women are Amanda Berry, Barry, Michelle Knight, and Gina De Zeus, or De Jesus, however you want to say. And now thanks to Charles Ramsey, after 10 years, they're safe at home with their families again. The 52-year-old man that kidnapped these women is a former school bus driver. Well, that's just fucking comforting, knowing that these sick fucks are just anyone, everywhere, and knowing that he was already close to these children, he might have became a bus driver so he could kidnap children. Now this just makes me question anyone that wants to get a job that involves children. I'm just gonna think they either are passionate about children or are planning on kidnapping some people. But they're not only arresting this 52 year old, they're also arresting two of his brothers because they're thought to be involved. And if there's three brothers involved in this, who's to say that they don't have more girls kidnapped? I hope they're doing follow-up searches. In that 10 years, these guys could have kidnapped a shitload of girls. I'm sure if you look in Cleveland, which is where these girls went missing from, there's probably a lot more missing people. Even in my area, I see signs for missing people, and every time I see a sign for a missing person, it sounds bad, but I assume they're dead. And it's sad to say that, but it's the cruel truth. But now I feel like with these three girls being rescued, you, there's new hope in the world. Now when I see a poster with a missing child on it, I'm not gonna think that that child's dead. I'm gonna think maybe they're out there somewhere just waiting to be found. The three women were said to be beaten and raped. And Amanda Berry is rumored to have conceived a child with the kidnapper because a six-year-old girl was also rescued from the house. And they think that it's Amanda Berry's kid. I'm wondering why it took 10 years for someone to discover that these women were being held captive in there. That's how often people decide to step in when something out of the normal. It just makes me think that any one of my neighbors could be a serial killer. Which is true. Any one of them could be. I could be a serial killer. You don't fucking know. Thank God Charles Ramsey finally noticed that someone was in distress. Here's Charles Ramsey's 911 call. Yeah, hey bro. I'm at 2207 Seymour, West 25th. Hey, check this out. I just came from McDonald's, right? So I'm on my porch eating my little food, right? This broad is trying to work out the fucking house next door to me. So there's a bunch of people on the street right now and shit. So we like, well, what's wrong with you? What's the problem? She like, this motherfucker that kidnapped me and my daughter, and we've been in this bitch. She said her name is Linda Berry or some shit. I don't know who the fuck that is. I just moved over here, bro. Sir, 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 you know what sir, I mean? sir, you have to calm down and slow down. Is she still in the street? Uh, uh, Seymour Avenue, is, this, is she still in the street or where did she go? Yeah, I'm looking at her. She right now. She calling y'all. She on another phone. This 911 dispatcher seems like he's getting frustrated with Charles. Charles just saved three girls' lives, all right? You don't give Charles lip like that, all right? You respect the man. But if you think that 911 dispatcher was bad, Amanda Berry got stuck with someone even worse. Here's Amanda Berry's 911 call. Oh, man, Amanda Berry. You need police, fire, or ambulance? I need police. Okay, and what's going on there? I've been kidnapped, and I've been missing for 10 years, and I'm, I'm here. I'm free now. Okay, and what's your address? Uh, 2207 Seymour Avenue. 2207 Seymour. Looks like you're calling me from 2210. Huh? It looks like you're calling me from 2210. I can't hear you. It looks like you were calling me from 2210, Seymour. Yeah, I'm across the street. I'm using the phone. Okay, stay there with those neighbors. Talk to the police when they get there. Okay. Thank you. Okay, talk to the police when they get there. Okay. Hello? Yeah, talk to the police when they get there. Okay, I'm on the way right now. I need We're going to send them as soon as we get a car open. No, I need them now before we get back. All right, we're sending them, okay? Okay, I mean, like, who's, right the guy, now? who's the guy you're, uh, tra who's the guy who went out? Um, his name is Ariel Castro. All right, how old is he? Uh, he's like 52. All right, and, uh, Steven, I'm Amanda Berry. I've been on the news for the last 10 years. Okay, I got, I got that here. I already know. She tells you that she's been on the news for the last 10 years and you're just like, okay, I got that, Jesus, you fucking bitch. This woman is clearly in distress. You're supposed to help her and get her a car as soon as possible, not tell her that she's gonna have to wait after waiting for 10 fucking years. I understand that 911 dispatchers get a lot of weird calls, but
but if you can't tell real distress from fake distress, then you shouldn't be a dispatcher. Anyway, I'm glad that these three women are safe, and I hope that these three brothers go in jail for a long time and get a little taste of what they just gave to these women. Yeah, you're gonna be in jail a lot longer than they were, and you're gonna get raped. Anally. And Charles Ramsey, you are a fucking hero. And you know what? I'm just gonna let him end this video. Charles Ramsey, take it away! Bro, I knew something was wrong when a little pretty white girl ran into a black man's arms. Something is wrong here. Dead giveaway. Dead Charles, giveaway. Charles, thank you very Dead much. Dead giveaway. Alright, let me try this again. I'm gonna take a running jump this time. I back up there without a car. Hey, you shot fucking car! There we go. Oh, yeah! What the fuck? There you go. <laughs> I need you, ambulance! Where are you going?